Our culture is under attack, and not just from the vandals who pull down our statues. There is a quiet, pernicious threat throughout our institutions, and every area of our culture is in danger. Sacred music is the new battleground. And it is the churches themselves who are engaged in this vandalism, such as Sheffield Cathedral, who have elected to drop their choir. Throughout the country, many churches and cathedrals are doing the same. And on what grounds? Well, we know their excuses. They claim it is elitist and not diverse or inclusive enough. But these are integral parts of British culture and history, which are being scrapped for the most tenuous and farcical reasons, such as those who claimed that people singing in church would spread coronavirus. Whatever their reason, it is nonsense. The real reason is that those who hate our culture and our Christian heritage will stop at nothing to obliterate it in all forms. Choral music is not going to spread plague. This is a nakedly Marxist coup. English choral music is under attack because it is, because it is part of the cultural fabric of the nation. It is an awkward reminder that we are, at heart, a Christian country. Now, whether you believe in God or not, England's culture and history is inextricably Christian. Honest people understand this and they take history as it is. But attempts to destroy this must be resisted. And those who try to destroy it are tyrants. They wish to force their worldview on you. Something as simple as a group of people singing in a church is an act of resistance against these tyrants, which is why we must protect and preserve our choral tradition. Our culture depends on it. It is not just because the music is pleasant, but it is because this is how ordinary people can rebel against the cultural vampires who wish to suck the life out of our society. We do not need a revolution to protect our culture. We just need to continue to engage in that culture and pass it on to the next generation. That which was entrusted to us by previous generations is not the property of this generation to squander. We do not have a right to sit by idly as insurgents tear to the ground everything which ties us to our past. One of the attacks launched against choral music is that it is elitist and not inclusive enough. We'll tell that to all those who have escaped poverty on choir scholarships at top schools and universities. Such scholarships, which for hundreds of years have driven social mobility, as did the grammar schools, which faced similar attacks under successive governments 20 years ago. Nothing is more elitist than politicians, journalists and bishops demolishing paths out of poverty and telling ordinary people that they cannot appreciate traditional music. Choral music is for everyone, not just the elite, and it serves an important social function. Above all, it is exceptionally beautiful. You may feel powerless against the cultural vandals, but you are not. By simply continuing to support your local church choir, you are rebelling righteously and in style.